Daily Devotional of Montvale Baptist Church, Saturday, April 25th, 2020. And Pharaoh called for Moses and for Aaron and said, Go ye, sacrifice to your God in the land. Exodus 8, 25. The world today says it's okay to be a Christian just as long as you don't leave this world. In other words, it's okay to be a Christian, but don't go to church just maybe once in a while. But don't go to every service. And be sure not to bring your religion into the world. A pastor was told by several people in Maryland, you stay over in your church and preach. And if I want to hear you, I'll come there. But don't come out into our neighborhood. We need full-time Christians today that will not be afraid to tell the world that they are Christians. And that we, Christians, serve a risen God who loves the world and expects us to go all the way out of the way, out into the old world that we know is full of unconverted people and bring them the gospel of Christ. Pharaoh grudgingly consented to Israel going to worship just as long as they stayed under his control. He did not want them free. He did not want to lose them. Satan does not want to lose people to the Lord today. He doesn't want to lose them. He wants to keep control over you. He could not stop you from becoming a Christian. However, he tries to keep you from going all the way with Jesus. You can go to church on Sunday. Just don't come to work on Monday and talk about it. Many of us have fallen into the trap of fearing the world. However, the Lord is Lord over the world, just as he is the Lord over the church. In verse 28 of Exodus 8, Pharaoh repeats the commandment, Only ye shall not go very far. One of the reasons that <clears throat> excuse me, modern-day Christians are so weak in influencing the world is that we don't have too many people who want to live as close to the world as possible. God would have you depart <clears throat> from the world. Father, as we go day to day in this life. Help us to step out of the world. We're just sojourners here. This isn't our home. But while we're here, we have a message to give. And help us to have the Christianity that's not just in the pews on Sunday morning, but the Christianity that tells everyone we meet about the Lord Jesus Christ. And it's in His precious name that we pray. Amen.